How's it going you guys? So in this video I'm going to be drinking some amazing tea and I'm going to be talking about um, I guess uh, my interpretation of other people's approach to current events I guess if that's what it's going to be. Um, so over the years uh, I have observed a lot of foolish behavior from a lot of foolish people and I've observed a lot of foolish behavior from a lot of smart people and I've observed a lot of smart behavior from a lot of smart people as well as smart behavior from foolish people and I've come to some interesting conclusions about society about human psychology and the dynamics the, dyna the dynamics behind all of it This tea I'm about to drink as I deliver this amazing speech. Jesus, this is beautiful. This is a raw, because white tea, white tea is normally raw, white pony tea, and I probably said it wrong, but I don't really care. Man, it just looks amazing. Let's see if we can actually move this camera. I don't think, oh yeah, it looks dark as fuck. Whatever. Anyway, I'm about to drink this awesome tea as I deliver this this awesome video. So, let's see. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't stand social media. No one, like, okay, I don't want to overgeneralize. People are addicted to drama. Addicted to shocking bullshit that doesn't involve them. People are addicted to, to crap that they, it's weird, they don't really care about the, these things. Like, they don't really care about health, yet they'll make long rants about uh, why you should wash your hands for like COVID-19 and coronavirus. <laughs> you know, they'll, de they'll talk shit about all these people who um, don't do certain practices like wear a mask and blah 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 which I'm not opposed to they'll talk shit about not wearing a mask and all this nonsense um, but in, in their general daily life they don't study health they don't study health science they don't care about being healthy themselves and uh, a lot of these people that I know personally that do this don't even wash their hands out of they go to their restroom um, but they'll leave these long ass rants on social media about it um, and then like the minute that some other crazy shit happens with an election or some other nonsense politics and whatnot uh, they're immediately on it sharing all these different stories about the latest bullshit going on and pretty much every single person is sharing the same news articles they're sharing the same opinions either on one side of the argument or the other and it, it's like just constant regurgitation of bullshit. And it's disgusting. It's disturbing. Um, so what I'm talking about specifically, just so we're clear, first of all, I have no issue with, you know, wearing masks at all. I don't have any, any problem with that. I don't have any problem with people washing their hands. I do have a problem with people worrying a lot about the vaccinations and masks and all this but not caring much about nutrition supporting their immune system and removing the foods that usually put their body in a compromised state to where coronavirus can take place or covid can take place and uh and, it's, and manifest severely i have an issue with that um i think if you're if you're scared of dying of covid and you're not researching deeply into the facts about every aspect of it outside of the news if you're not uh, doing every single thing you possibly can to stop it from happening then you have no business worrying and freaking out and complaining that's just ridiculous makes no sense um so yeah wear your mask uh wash your hands and whatnot you know wear your gloves that you're just going to pick your butt with and adjust your mask with and spread your arms a little bit still but hopefully they'll protect you right do all that crazy stuff that you think you need to do but also do nutrition also remove refined sugar 
uh, vegetable oils and consume more foods that help to counterbalance that. Oh, man. Um, and, um, you know, when somebody talks about how you can boost your immune system to help prevent COVID or to not to prevent COVID, but to guard your, your body and your health against COVID, um, you know, pay attention to it. Don't diss them and say, oh, no, fuck you. If you're not wearing, you know, wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, now all this white, this uh, capital breaching or whatever happened, and that's all I'm seeing now is just like people who are giving, who, who think that their opinion is like, like worth like sharing about some situation that has nothing to do with them. Um, and it's bickering back and forth, arguing back and forth about all of this, all of this crap is just like this like, thing that's happening somewhere in the world that these people are now hyper fixated on and now you're going to see every single thing in social media is this, is this nonsense every single thing in people's news feed is this nonsense everything on the news is going to be around this nonsense and they're just going to beat it to the ground until no one cares anymore and then it's going to be on to the next thing it's it's just it's just crazy. People are addicted to people are addicted to drama and low emotions and low vibrations and addicted to all this. Um, and it's just disturbing. It's just crazy. It's mind blowing. And at meanwhile, beneath the surface, most like again, like maybe not everyone, but the majority of these people that I know that are engaging in this nonsense, I see over and over again they're living kind of like broken in the background they have you know interpersonal relationship problems you know problems with their social skills they have like uh some kind of depression lingering in the background and you know a wide variety of issues but most importantly they don't feel happy as a person they don't feel good about the life that they're living and then like they wonder why um, and for me being where I'm at these days uh, I can't help but feel like there's way too much focus on all this crazy crap in the world that's going on and not enough focus on empowering themselves towards a vision that they want to manifest in their life so that's not to say that some terrible tragedy that happens in the world is insignificant. It's not what I'm saying. Um, but if you're freaking out on social media, sharing all this stuff about something that happened, and, um, you know, first of all, what good are you doing? Everyone else is already sharing that story. So, you know, do you really need to add your own, you know, same contribution pretty much, just in a different flavor? I mean, do it if that's what you want, but, you know, so you're doing that, but then, you know, it's like consuming them emotionally, like they're fully embodying, like, all the emotions associated with the situation, and it's kind of like distracting them from, like, their own problems in life, their own uh, mountains to conquer. I feel like part of, so a lot of, pretty much I'm sure most people who engage in this behavior, they think that they're doing the world a favor. Like, oh, well, I'm spreading awareness of it. I'm, you know, contributing, you know, my empathy to them and stuff, which empathy is important and whatnot. But uh, I think this is a severe lack of awareness um, and, and to why they're doing it. I think a lot of people do these things, first of all, um, because it makes them feel like they're a good person, a good citizen. It makes them feel like they're contributing some kind of positive thing to society. And um, it's emotional venting. It's reacting to life rather than responding. They're not like taking some time to, to gather all the information before they formulate some opinions. They're just like, oh my god, this crazy thing happened and it's crazy and you know, fuck this person, and then, like, whatever tribe they follow, <laughs> they support that tribe in their opinion. I'm like, oh, it's this tribe, it's this person's fault. You know, it's like, um, 
so it's it's reinforcing their tribalism towards whatever like tribe they follow and then um the biggest reason why people engage in this is because it's the most exciting thing that's going on in their life at the current time <laughs> and it gives them something really like stimulating to talk about to other people who are already hyper stimulated who can't fucking sleep at night and they have all these anxieties and things and it's like to me it looks like this like insane energy that just feeds off of itself through and spreads like a virus through all these other people and it consumes them and before you know it you know it's like their whole future for a period of days and weeks is now um being created on the foundation of the, these emotions of, of current events like the theme of their life now surrounds these current events you go around and you're like hey what's up man how's it going like oh fucking covid blah 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 or like hey man how's it going oh i'm doing good man but that shit in capital that happened like a million miles away you know <laughs> that's pr that's already taken care of but the news just keeps acting like there's more of the story yeah that shit's crazy blah 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 it happened three weeks ago and the people start talking about it and it doesn't have anything to do with me blah 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 like you know it's it's just crazy um and for me the um so i believe that so not always but most of the time uh when you have so so when you have like a tragedy that happens let's say it's a mass shooting uh it's usually a crazy guy that has mental health issues and you know a lot of people and, and when i say mental health issues i mean there's certain, something seriously wrong with this guy his brain circuitry his belief system his view on life and he's so far gone that no amount of donations can help this guy no amount of you know philosophizing sitting him down with a therapist and nothing is going to change that guy's direction now i i know for a fact people can change that's the reason why i'm making this video in fact but I, what i'm saying is like you reading a news story about a shooting and then giving your opinion on that guy who did the crazy nonsense is not going to fucking help him now donating some money to the families that were affected is going to help duh but do, how many people ranting on facebook about a, sh a crazy shooter guy and i need to ban guns and all this stuff like or or put greater restrictions on them whatever how many of these people are actually donating to the families that are affected the thing that you actually have power to, to improve on and the only thing that really i guess matters now for the most part so that's the first thing you know the second thing is that in my opinion you could probably prevent a lot of crazy things like that ha <laughs> happening by promoting empowerment in life um by promoting hope by lifting up the vibration of society and um i from from what i'm seeing the reason why there's just so many people who are engaging in, in these types of strange behaviors they're feeding off of fear and anger and emotions spreading fear and anger in these types of like you know in unproductive destructive emotions um and then the reason why i guess there's not really a lot of philosophy and psychology courses being taught in school you know probably the same reason why like america uh is is you know feeding our children junk food in schools is because you know i, I think some societies are different but we're very low con low level consciousness low vibrating um just like like dysfunctional minded society uh it's based on profits it's based on survival of the fittest really which is unfortunate um and i mean i suppose and basically our whole society only can exist um based on people being scared people relying on pharmaceuticals relying on um 
these government industries. Um, and the thing is, the major so when when people start to move past this like dramatic, um, overly emotional, reactive type of behavior, when people can can move above that paradigm, that level of consciousness, we'll put it, uh, they start to also see, you know, what a Cheeto really is made of. They start to also see um, what, you know, ranting on social media really achieves, like, <laughs> and then they're able to break away from it. But the problem is, and see, most people don't make these types of connections, but, um, that entire paradigm, it it benefits the media outlets, it benefits the social media and Facebook, which invest millions of dollars trying to make their product as active as, as, as possible. Um, the news outlets make a lot of money because now you're clicking on all their articles and sharing the videos and whatnot. You're all talking to your friends about the crazy shit you saw on CNN. Um, clicking through YouTube videos. You know, all of these things are building profit towards these giant industries. Um, you know, McDonald's and 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 um, even Walmart, I guess, to a certain degree. And I mean, these days their products are great, but for a long time, I don't know. But um, maybe Walmart not so much. But uh, Cheetos and these big chip industries um, and the pharmaceutical industries that are also in cahoots with uh, Monsanto, Bear and Monsanto, and all of these people, and then Impossible Burger. All of this stuff is like, and I don't I don't know if I would ever say anything about like, oh, it's like the end of you or some crazy shit, but it just seems like this is all a giant, um, like succubus of some kind. It's just like destroying the planet, destroying the environment, it's funding false research to continue to, to brainwash the public. And all these people are being like, they're being like, like their brain and their heart and their energy is just being sucked away like by um, all of this industry I just mentioned, I just talked about. And uh, I see that all of these industries, a big thing they have in common is investing a lot of money in making their products as addictive as possible. And again, like terrible tragedies and things that happen are terrible. And I think it's great if people can help people who are affected by tragedies. But ranting and complaining about something that happened and, ta and, and blaming someone and talking all this crap about whatever the hell, you know, like, oh, you, you, you mask wearing person or you anti mask wearing person. You know, are you vaccinating the person or anti-vaccinating person? You know, that shit ain't fucking helping. But our society is addicted to blaming and arguing and, and like, we can't have a simple conversation about things because it's either about race, it's about, you know, what's the, uh, what political agenda you're abiding by. You know, and like, you can have a completely neutral view on something, but someone's going to like project their own like weird, um, emotional baggage onto you and it's all addiction to those negative those like um, the those low vibrating emotions like addict like I, I gotta feel that drama I gotta feel the the argumentativeness I gotta feel the fight the resistance I gotta feel the suffering like they're they're like addicted to this energy it's like ah! like, like you're like um like a bacteria coming out of the, um, the sewer that needs to feed on more of the same bacteria to like continue to grow and expand and it's it really does almost look like these uh, it looks like some kind of evil energy like <laughs> that's like in possessing people and it's growing and spreading and feeding on people's souls and obviously I'm kind of like exaggerating in a way, I guess, is a kind of joking, but metaphorically speaking, you know, that's what I'm kind of like seeing. I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the tea, actually. It's literally just some really good white tea that makes you feel great. But, um, and like, it's just interesting how if I didn't have a phone and I didn't have social media, you know, if I wasn't connected to the internet, 
None of that shit. I had no clue about any of that. Um, and so, I mean, if you're not donating to, to people or companies or things that will help to improve the situation, why are you freaking out about it? Like, why are you allowing so much of your energy and your time, your mind, being consumed by these things? I just, it's just crazy. Um, and maybe it's because, well, they don't have um, a vision that they're aspiring to. They don't have um, things that they're doing each day um, that takes up their time and their mind and their energy to, you know, keep them balance to keep them grounded in life um, to where these things you see on social media are kind of actually like off-putting <laughs> like I don't see these things now and be like oh fuck I, I, I gotta give the world a piece of my mind now at least not the way that everyone else is of course I'm giving my mind right now in this video <laughs> but it's more about the psychology behind behind the behavior that drives that type of thing but I don't see all this. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking tell, you know, I'm gonna convince people that, you know, it's my tribe that, that is a savior, right? It's my political agenda or blah, blah, blah. Maybe as far as nutrition is concerned, I'll do that. I guess because I feel like that's gonna benefit people, but, um, you know, yeah. Generally, when you put your opinion out there, you're just going to get other people's opinions clashing with yours. You know, pretty much people's confirmation bias is what's really running the show. And so, how much of this is even confirmation bias? Probably all of it. How much of this is beneficial? Probably, uh, who knows. Um, and yeah, most likely lots of people would misinterpret this if I post it. But, um, I just... I, I think uh, a lot of evil in the world would start to go away if uh, our society promoted, um, you know, developing a vision, aspiring towards that vision, uh, developing empowering thoughts and beliefs that will help you catapult towards that vision, looking at every area of your life um, through a lens of appreciation and, and, and having faith that you can achieve your goals in every area of your life. Because I imagine somebody with that mindset, they're so focused on generating positive things in their own life, and then when you, when you see them at the store, they're generating positive emotions towards you, you know, towards everyone around them. All they're doing is sharing positive energy, and there's no way that that person is going to do something completely opposite to that. Uh, of course, the only way that you'll be able to understand that is if you were actually engaging in that behavior yourself and you can see that the green is, the grass is green on that side, pretty damn green. Um, you know, because I see a lot of the people that I've known in my life that have done crazy things um, and the majority of them were just heavily focused on the wrong things. And so me complaining about some tragedy that happened is not going to prevent someone from creating a tragedy again in the future. However, if I'm spreading things like, you know, focus on, uh, you know, appreciate the things you have in life and have faith that you can create things, you know, better things that you want as well. You know, if I'm, if I'm sharing tips on how people can improve their own lives, uh, then, you know, hopefully other people will start to focus more on improving their lives and they'll see some success, which will motivate them, and they'll see even more success. Um, and when you have that positive loop of, like, self-improvement, you go very far away from all the suicidal and, and negative kind of behaviors and thoughts and all this crap is driving all the other shit that I mentioned already. So, you know, and a big part of all of the all of the positivity that puts you in the positive direction has a lot to do with disciplining yourself away from like engaging in that type of behavior. Like, oh, I'm a patriot now, and all this shit about <laughs> that. All the only people who care are other people who believe the same thing as me. Like, 
Um, you focus on improving your life and trying to help inspire other people. That's going to create positive changes. I, I don't believe complaining and freaking out and arguing with your friends on fucking social media about these things is going to help. I just, I just don't. So I don't know if I'm going to post this because I don't even know if I made sense, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to get the wrong idea. These topics kind of scare me to talk about just because people are dumb. <laughs> people are fucking dumb, and they just want to like project bullshit on everyone. They want to create drama wherever they fucking can. That's the entire point of this. It's it's just evil that just feeds more fucking evil. It's disgusting, and it infects even the most you know, well-intentioned people. It's fucked up. So, fuck it all. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>